Hello and welcome to another series of Homes and Gardens. This year we're going to take you on a sort of a backwards trip through Canterbury. We're going to take you to some of Christchurch's grand old houses and well estates I'll call them because you can hardly call the many acres that surround Rickerton House here a garden. Rickerton House was the home of the Dean's family. They first lived in the little cottage and then gradually built the big house as the family grew. Now, Rickerton Bush, Rickerton House and all the surrounding acres belong to the Christchurch City Council. Today we meet John Hoskin, a Rickerton House Guide, who takes us back in time to the early days of the Deans family. I've been guiding here at Rickerton House for about five years. The story of this particular area is the story of the very foundation of European settlement on the Canterbury Plains. It does not come any earlier than this. Well, they were all Scottish through and through. They come from Ayrshire, a uh, property was known as Kirkstyle, and uh, that was in Kilm right in Kilmarnock. Jane, who John married, uh, she came from uh, just out of Kilmarnock. John asked Jane if she would wait for him until he got settled in New Zealand, after which he'd come and get her, and she agreed. William, he planned his trip down here meticulously. He had the timber for the first cottage, he had the bricks for the chimney, but he had left the jolly nails behind in Wellington. So being very resourceful Scots, they're not going to be beat, so in their tent at night they cut wooden nails. And the first building that went up on the Canterbury Plains was put together with wooden nails. Later on that year they got the nails and the little cottage out the back was built. And that today is the oldest building on the Canterbury Plains. She had a terrible journey out here, being seasick for over a hundred days. And she was homesick by the time she got halfway here. And would you believe she arrived at Littleton and she was morning sick. She was, she was pregnant with uh, John and her child and he was known as John too. I think they came here for sheer adventure more than anything. They made a success of it. They were the first European permanent settlers on the plains. They um, were very hospitable to everyone that came here. A lot of people came over from Makaroa. And, and in the early days, John used to have to r walk all the way over the hills to Makaroa to post his letters to his dearly beloved Jane and pick up her letters and uh, he'd stay the night and the next day he'd walk all the way back. After uh, John and Jane got settled uh, in, in the little cottage out the back, John's health started to deteriorate and of course uh, it turned out to be consumption or tuberculosis as we know today and of course in those days there was no cure. And he said to Jane, he says, well dear, he says, I've had it, what would you like to do? Would you like to go back to Scotland or stay here? And Jane very courageously said she would stay here and carry on their dreams. John said, well, okay, if you're going to stay here, you're going to need a better house to live in. And they designed the first part of this house. John could see all the bush disappearing off the plains, and he said to Jane, do not allow them to chop any more of that bush down. So the actual Dean's bush today, or Rickerton bush, whichever you like to call it, uh, is the only bush of its type left in the world and it's only there because in 1854 when John was dying he says do not allow them to chop any more down. Jane actually moved into that room before her own bedroom was ready because I think she couldn't wait to get out of that little cottage out the back. In those days uh, they used to get their newspapers from Scotland, they would read them, then they'd stick them on the wall so they had something the wallpaper to stick to. And in there we have a, uh, a Commonwealth newspaper from 1856, as well as an air advertiser. They would have been well educated, I would say, because they were in the law profession before they came out here. There is a whole shelf of uh, Charles Dickens' books. Uh, there are a lot of boys' uh, annuals uh, dating back quite a long time. Coming up, we continue our wander through historic Rickerton House and we slip into a sliver of ancient bush. See you soon.